Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Did you know if you save your game after talking to Apom and leaving you'll end up popped out right here? I did, isn't that incredibly handy? Anyway, let's get back to the battle tournament of Doom. This next one, oh boy, it's the final one. And it could either take me five minutes or five hours. <laughs> Hopefully... The latter won't be the case. Uh, actually, maybe I'll choose Pokemon first. I think the only one I'll really have trouble with is Lucario. Although, uh, Hydreigon there could be an issue in itself. But I'm... Mm, I think I'm gonna stick with Garchomp and... I guess Landorus for uh, Lucario. Hopefully. Let's get it started. I chose Tepig mainly for Lucario, actually, because, you know, Lucario's really, really swift. And uh, Tepig has a higher attack power overall, which might help against the super resilient Pokemon here. Alright, so anyway. Oh. I know it's fine to be directly underneath it. Yeah, see that? It's just a matter of... Picking my moments, I guess you could say. Yeah, just like, what? Really? Come on now. Don't give me issues. I know that I can hit you and I'm like that. Don't give me that. I mean, seriously. Mm, there we go. Isn't that better? <laughs> yeah, Golurk, big and powerful, but not really all that difficult as long as you wait for it to go into cannon form. <laughs> In fact, I probably should restart this battle because I'm already low on health, but eh, I'll see um, how far I can get here. This is like a practice round, I guess you could say. <laughs> it, as long as you keep transforming into a cannon, you always shoot overhead, I will be just fine. I'm pretty sure you always do shoot overhead, so... Yeah, Oh, I did it a little bit too early there. That's fine, that's fine. It only seems to do two shots as well. But yeah, I'm not going to have any issues with Tepig um, versus Golurk there, as long as I play patiently. Hydreigon and Lucario, however, they are going to be the true test. I should probably start out with Garchomp immediately, just to, uh, as soon as I see its first attack. Uh, let's get, do a... Oh, I didn't get to see its attack. Oh, eh. I will soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you got? What you got? Yeah. Well, that's not easy to dodge. <laughs> I might have to sidestep that. <clears throat> All right, try it again. I'm gonna um, do this right from the top here without any cuts because I'm gonna try out the more consistent Golurk strategy here, if you don't mind. So I'm going to wait for it to transform, and only will it, after I shoot, will I close in for an attack. Perfect! And wait, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can't let that hit me. Okay, transform. Transform. Good. Very good. Okay. Yeah, this works wonderfully. <laughs> okay... Just give it a little room to transform again, because as long as it can't hit me with its punch, it won't use the punch, and it'll just go for the long-range attack. I see, I see, good. Yeah, this is going to be very easy to perfect each and every time, so from uh, here on out, I'm just going to cut ahead uh, after I inevitably fail other battles. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Come on. Cannon, there we go. Good boy. Oh, it was a little too early there. Gotta wait for that shock wave to dissipate before you can do it. Gotta watch for that. I guess it's ah, I guess that means it's still easy to make some mistakes overall, but as long as I watch the border of the arena, I should be fine. It's a matter of uh, consistency practice. But yeah. Anyway, come on, transform one last time. And now, shoot! Good boy! <laughs> Woo! Alright, now for Garchomp. I mean, <laughs> I seen Garchomp at the bottom left corner. I mean, Hydreigon. 
Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I'm not sure what, how to deal with it yet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I beat it before, oh, gotta watch for that. I beat it before, um, oh, in, an, in its battle tournament form, I guess you could say. Oh, that works, dodging towards it works great. Uh, don't you have... Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. I was just trying to gauge its attacks and stuff like that to try and find a way around them. I can dodge right straight forward through them. Just as long as I time it well. Time it well. But I didn't! <laughs> I can actually probably jump over that one. Ugh. Yeah, okay. I'm just trying to get the hang of this, don't mind me. Oh! Too early. Okay, watch for Dragon Breath. Yeah, I think I got that, but it's kind of hard to tell what attack it's going to be using before it uses it. So how, how can I tell? Maybe I should be moving before it even starts, because that Electro Orb is much slower, and I, and I would have plenty of time to dodge that. Ah. Oh. Okay. Anyway, try it again. Alright, we're back. I took one hit from its um, uh, the Golurk's Cannon Blast because of uh, I dash comboed a little bit too far, but it's okay. It's still a matter of practice. Uh, what you got? Okay, maybe I should Im immediately jump whenever I see him shoot out any sort of thing, but let's see what happens if I get close. I think he'll always do that attack when I get close. So, yeah. Just gotta strategize and try and... No! Try and get to a position where I can attack him. Oh, I don't I don't know which attack he's gonna use of those two, and it kind of makes it more difficult to dodge, but that's probably the idea. Wait a second. I, I can't attack you with Tepig? What? No, I can with that. That's not ideal. How about that? <laughs> Those meteors are pretty random, so they're kind of easy to dodge, even if you don't need, don't try to dodge them. <laughs> well, kind of ran into one. <laughs> I'm wondering, maybe Tepig's not such a good choice after all. I'm thinking... Pikachu and the Iron Tail again. I mean, if, if it can't reach Hydreigon easily, that's kind of an issue. So, yeah, let's do that. Same strategy for Golurk. I made one mistake by getting cornered and got punched by Golurk with Pikachu, but Pikachu made Golurk even easier <laughs> by using Iron Tail between its uh, cannon blasts. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I think Pikachu will be much more suited for Hydreigon overall. And it'll still do uh, regular damage versus um, Lucario, you know, electric attacks. Well, hopefully. <laughs> um, will you always use that attack when I close in? Because if so... Oh, I was going to say, if so, I might already have this battle won. Oh! Maybe not. Uh, maybe you only did that because I was further away. Eh. Now, will you use... Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 yes! Yes, 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 yes! Good, 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 good! Bad, 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 bad! <laughs> okay, do... Yes, very, very good, very good! Oh, yeah, this, this works great! <laughs> Woo! Alright, so I got my Hydreigon strategy. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm gonna die! <laughs> Let's see what it's got. Probably Aurora Sphere. Okay, I can dodge it like that. I'll probably close in to do some damage. That was pretty decent. Okay. Oh geez. Please don't do that. Oh, please don't do that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the bad, 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 bad. <laughs> You're pretty resilient, man. Uh, 
Nope, nope, nope. Oh boy. Okay, well, I, at least I know your attack patterns to an extent. Uh, do an aura sphere so I can do some damage to you. Or that. Okay, you can backflip. I don't mind that. Oh, ho ho! Ho! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to put all my assist Pokemon focus on Lucario since I got my strategy um, set for the first two battles. So, okay, I'm going to choose helpers rather than, well, maybe Garchomp would be fine versus Lucario. But I'm thinking um, uh, Girder and Landorus instead. Okay? All right. <laughs> oh, wow. I can actually attack Hydreigon to the point that it can't do any damage to me at all. <laughs> Just as long as I keep closing in and iron tailing it. Good lord. <laughs> well, I think I broke that one. Alright. Here we go. Rematch of the century. And why did I choose Girder and not Conkledur? I don't know. Some days I swear... <laughs> Eh, it'll be decent, I suppose. Uh, unless you know it doesn't hit it at all. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close in. Yeah. Poopers! <laughs> Thought I could do some damage while I was back flipping. Yeah! yeah. Okay, that works, kind of. Oh no! Please don't hurt me. I know that's your intent, but I'd prefer if you didn't. <laughs> oh, well, I could have toppled it there because it, it backed up a little bit um, after it took some hits. Oh, mistimed it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, so close! <laughs> oh, one more try. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> this strategy is just flawless. <clears throat> Stills in, Iron Tail. Just let it do its thing, and when it's done, start Iron Tailing it again. Look at that, look at that, it can't, it can't get an attack off. At all. And as long as you stay close by it, it's gonna keep trying to do that attack. And when you do two Iron Tails on it, it's going to, um, like when you do two Iron Tails in the while it's in the middle of its attack, it won't be able to do anything about it. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It's such a powerful Pokemon. So easily toppled. <laughs> anyway, flawless victory on the first two battles now. Woo! Now, oh, I should have switched to Conkledur, but uh, whatever. I, I think I got the hang of Lucario enough to the point that um, I, I'll only need one of them, even if it fails. <laughs> Getting close, and do you always run away? Or... Oh, you are smart enough to run away from Girder every time, aren't you? Oh! How about Landorus? You don't seem good enough to move away from that one. Yeah. <laughs> and close in! <laughs> oh no, oh no. Okay, yeah, it's pretty easy to dodge its stuff, as long as I do that, and up, oh, oh, I thought I was going to backflip, maybe not, I mean, maybe it's not that easy, Ugh. okay, yeah, I, I want it to backflip more than anything, Ugh. hmm, maybe you will prove to be a difficult challenge, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to switch to Conkle Dare this time. Alright. This is it. Full health, another flawless victory on the first two battles. I got the hang of them. Get ready. Now don't dodge out of the way. Oh, well, that's, oh, that's not bad, that's not bad. Alright, Landorus. I think I might be able to defeat it now at this point by just rushing it. Oh, okay, Aura Sphere. Maybe not. 
Maybe I'm gonna just go in for one Iron Tail. And... Oh, whenever you put your arm up to your chest, you're gonna do that forward thrust move thing. I should say any forward attacks, excuse me. Okay... Okay... Nope! Ow, pain! So much pain! Why are you so tough? <laughs> well, you are the final battle. Oh! Why? Alright, took a little damage because I was playing stupid in the first two battles trying to hurry things up because I'm getting impatient. But here I am at the final stage again. I got a different idea this time. Um, what I'm gonna do here is, watch this. Oh, no, that fails. <laughs> well, maybe there's a better moment in time to do that. Maybe. Not sure. There might be. Landrus! Earth power! Pretty good! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do here is that, that... Well, I don't know. It, it just le feels like I'm so vulnerable <laughs> after doing that. Although, after it does that, it seems like a pretty safe, safe way to do it. Like after, yeah, when it does that, whoops, whoa, 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 whenever it does uh, those thrusts and it goes into that shield, yeah, that. Yeah, there we go, I got a strategy, look at that! I win! <laughs> Woo! And that takes care of the battle tournament. Special cutscene. Ah, oh, the Zappy Power Pals. <laughs> We got another new nickname! You have displayed excellent judgment and teamwork. Your performance in this tournament has been fantastic. Thank you for being a part of it. Here we will commend your amazing performance. Excellent work. The way you battled will become an example for other Pokémon. Your moves will be the subject of conversation for years to come. Continue to honor your friendship with your pals and train hard. Woo! Eka and there we go. Battle tournament is now complete. If we go back to it, you will see... You can either continue from 10, which will always be 10, or start over from the very beginning, which I'm not going to do. Now that the battle tournament is over, we can start working on the leftovers that we have to do here. Starting with the collection. This right here is a spot reserved for Dura Bubbles. These are for Shades, and this is for Meteorites. Two of those things are right here in the Cove area. In fact, I probably should switch to, um, really. <laughs> I should switch over to Oshawott. And go look for Pelipper, because Pelipper typically has the Dura Bubbles I'm looking for. Hmm, let's oh, there it is. Don't fly, don't fly, don't fly. Oh no 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 It can sometimes take a few tries um to get whatever Pokemon's items that you need. So you might have to leave the area and come back a few times. Uh so anyway. Hey, how's it going? Uh, do you have any shades? No, you don't. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go over to Cove Town now, I guess, just to see if uh, uh, Crockle Rock would. Wait, wait, he's here. He's here. He's here. Hey, 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 hey. Do you have shades? Uh, no, I guess not. Alright, Cove Town. No, I don't think there's anything over there. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep working on Seasong Beach here to see if I can get the thing that I'm looking for. Some more specifically shades and dura bubbles. Maybe what I should do is try battling Crocker Rock and see. Actually setting it up as if it's a boss theme. I mean a boss area. Wow. <laughs> well maybe after beating them they'll be uh, willing to give us shades. Ow! Oh. That totally sucked. Any pain. Yeah. Whoa! Did I just one-hit KO them with Shell Blade? <laughs> wow! Ah, you're tough. That's a fact. Here, I promise. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. There we go. Got the shades. All right, Pelipper. P 
Pelipper, does it have the Dura Bubbles that we need? Maybe. I can't jump off there. Dang it! <laughs> Will there be Dura Bubbles? No, there won't be Dura Bubbles. Of course, of course there wouldn't be Dura Bubbles. Why would there be Dura Bubbles? RNGs never work for me. Hey, 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 mm, mm. <laughs> Stop. Mm. What if I took? What if I took a photo of you here? Would you appreciate that enough for me for you to give me Dura Bubbles? No. You're just ungrateful, aren't you? Aren't you? <sighs> nope. Compasses, huh? Huh. <sighs> Not what I'm looking for. See, the thing about trades is that sometimes a Pokemon will do it and sometimes they won't. Which might have been kind of the issue that I had with the core fish earlier. <laughs> when I was trying to look for um, stuff that they're willing to trade for at the um, Cove Town. So yeah, it's, it's a matter of just keep trying, be persistent, and you'll eventually get them. Still nothing, huh? Give me Dura Bubbles! Maybe I'll try this. Just for kicks. Maybe it'll reset certain aspects like, say, the trading thingamabob. Doesn't look like it. Why not bubbles? Not bubbles. No maracas. No. Oh! 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 Yes, yes, yes! Are you serious? I don't have enough berries for your bubbles. Oh my god! Ah. I beat you again. Now give me 300 more berries for Dura Bubbles. I decided to grind up to over 2,000 berries just in case, because there's still one more Pokemon. I need to uh, trade berries for another thingamabob, the meteorite, actually, back at the Craig area. So, yeah, I thought I would just get that while I'm here. Ah, uh, why? Two floats for what? Eh, I guess. I've been doing trades like that just for kicks to see if I could find it. Or see if it wants to trade something for Dura Bubbles, maybe, but no, no. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't want to. Ah! 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 Yes! Yes! Finally! That that took forever. Alright, here's the collection. Dura Bubbles. Right there, and the shades. Now I gotta go over to the Craig area and do the same thing with meteorites. No, 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 you are not getting my Dura Bubbles after all the work I put into getting them. No, no, no. Apparently, Baratic, Garchomp, Hydreigon, and Tyranitar can have these meteorites. So, yeah, it's gonna be another long time. Hello? I played hide and seek with Cub Chew to see if Baratic will decide to trade for meteorites for berries or something. Just to see if that'll do anything. I doubt it. Honey jars? No. I decided to go to the train depot instead because it seems like the Pokemon there just don't want to trade whatsoever. And so I'll wait here and see if, Ty or say, see when Tyranitar wants to give a. Uh, Meteorite out. See, um, uh, Garchomp and Hydreigon just get ticked off too easily. <laughs> and when they're ticked off, they don't really want to trade. And Baratic seems more concerned with uh, Cub Chew than anything. And yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna work on this right here. Will battling with Tyranitar change anything? I would doubt it overall. Nope. Oh, guess not. Still gotta wait. Oh, what the? Did you see that? It, <laughs> it was showing the Joltik on top of... Yeah! <laughs> see that? 
You met my brother Joptic, didn't you? I'm planning to travel to lots of different areas. Oh, why are you so mad? It was... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, to give you an idea of what I was doing here, um... Because this has been taking so long at the other area, I actually turned off the camera to recharge it because it actually ran out of batteries completely. And then I headed over to this this area after it started char I mean, uh, finished charging and after I started recording again. So yeah, this is taking me quite a while. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh! 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 I should have came here earlier. Yes! 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 That means there's only one area left to clear out. But first, I would like to demonstrate a glitch that I was told about by Logan Vandruff. And uh, he sent me a video by Mills Tales Prower demonstrating this glitch. First, go to Tepig. And go on the very edge of some sort of object. And I mean the very, very, very edge. Oop. Gotta get just barely, barely on there. I might have actually had it when I was up there. Uh, okay, I'm just I'm gonna try it here. Now switch to Pikachu. And maybe... Oh, there we go, it worked! You can clip through objects like this and go into the world to see things from other angles you're not supposed to be able to see them in. <laughs> this doesn't work everywhere, and apparently there's no real use for it in terms of like speedrunning and stuff like that because you can't skip through stuff. Ah, camera! So, oh, I fell through the floor. <laughs> And if that happens, you pop out at the last place that you transition to the area at. But yeah, there, apparently there's no real use for it other than just to have fun with it. So check out a whole load of other places if you don't mind on your own. And I think you're going to have some fun seeing what the, uh, is like behind objects and stuff like that. Like for the, for the heck of it, let's see if I can... Uh, do it here. As I said, it's not possible to do it every spot, but it's uh, it's possible to do in a lot of spots. Clip through it. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. See, it didn't work here. Even though I uh, sort of teleported down through the box, it teleported me outside the box. The idea is to get yourself inside the thing, and yeah. So it didn't work there, but yeah. Have fun with that glitch. Experiment, see what you can find. It doesn't seem to be a risky glitch, as I've never um, gotten the game to freeze with it when I tried it out, so it doesn't seem to have um, any repercussions whatsoever. I could be wrong, though, so don't uh, don't say, hey, you said one thing, and now my game is destroyed, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Um, say that it's 100% foolproof, but yeah. Anyway, now there's officially only one last thing I have yet to do. So let's go back to the Wish Palace. Here we are. Hopefully the answers I seek will be up those stairs. 191 friends. For a maximum total of 194, which means that the last three are right up here. You ready to finish this game? I sure am. Alright, let's chat with everyone here. The feeling you taught me is still in my heart. I would like to battle you. Not out of spite, but with this warm feeling in my heart. Not right now. Is that so? I'll save the answers for last. <laughs> um, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Wanna hear it? If you beat me in battle, I'll tell you. Do you want a battle? Yes. Okay, let's battle. Let's do it. Last three Pokemon to get us friends right are right before our eyes. Wow, that's a quick side beam there. You're probably not gonna be anything compared to the battle tournament. <laughs> oh no, I didn't want to hit you. <laughs> Sometimes I swear, Leaf Storm just aims for the wrong thing. 
And you know what, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a little bit faster. Leaf storming it. Bingo! Alright, spill the beans! I lost. Okay, I'll tell you. I've been watching you and I know it's this. I, um, oh, it's just so hard to say, but I just have to say it. I can only see behind you someone with a blue and white face. Beep! I finally said it. Oh, but probably I'm the only one who can see it, so don't worry. Gothita's friended! I'm guessing it's a psychic thing, um, in that it's seeing a spirit or something like that. Oh, would you like to battle? Why, sure, I would love to! Because after I do this, I only have one friend left. Bring it! Yeah, these battles are just... Nothing com <laughs> compared to the battle tournament overall. I mean, after the uh, after doing the battle tournament, you should find these to be like an absolute joke overall. <laughs> I'm just being reckless here. And now one more. You're sure strong. That's why you were able to beat the master. By the way, one of the stormy collectors is a girl, right? That would be me. I know others sometimes assume you're all boys. A lot of folks think I'm a girl, so I know what that's like. So Goth <coughs> Gotharita is actually a boy! They yep. A little sneaky um I, I don't wanna say Easter egg, <laughs> but it's a it's a thing to um I guess destroy gender expectations. <laughs> anyway, would you like would you have a battle with me so I can see your destiny? Yes. Let's do it. Final one. Excitement! So apparently she's quite powerful. Apparently. Do I believe it? No. <laughs> so, what you got there, huh? Well, nope, nothing. <laughs> How'd I do this? <laughs> I had a feeling that would work. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna close in while you're. Uh, while you're doing that attack again. I'm gonna, gonna pull a, 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 I can't think of the Pokemon name. The one at the second round of, uh, uh round 10 of the battle tournament. Hydreigon. <clears throat> oh, I've been recording so much today, I'm getting a little loopy. <laughs> I can see you, future. And as you strive towards your dreams, you will have important friends cheering for you. The lovely future. That is a pretty nice future. All right. 194. There they are. 100% complete. All right. One last battle for the road to get the answers we're looking for. Coming up. After this loading screen. <laughs> this is it. The final, 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 final. Final, final battle. <laughs> this game has had a lot of battles which felt like the final battle, but... This is for sure the last battle we're having in this walkthrough. Let's do it. Epic finale right here. Ow, pain. <laughs> Maybe I should... Nope, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do this with Snivy as I've, as I've typically done it with other Pokemon, but that should be fine. I could always just keep my distance since I have a lot more time than I did at the battle tournament overall, so I could just keep leaf storming it up for all time. <laughs> yeah, that works pretty nicely. And then clo whoa, 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 what, what the heck? You're supposed to run into it and, you know, do damage and stuff. <laughs> if it, it, there's like, I don't know, do, does it not work against Darkrai or something? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. Not sure. Maybe we'll find out. Because <laughs> that, that was pretty weird. Like, it, it almost seemed like it was treating... Okay, that's, it's working now. 
It was treating Dark Eye as if it was some sort of non-interactable object. But I, I knew that wasn't the case. At least I thought I knew. <laughs> There's just something that didn't cause the dash to start a dash combo, I guess. I, I have no clue. <laughs> and there we go. Phase one complete! <sighs> but of course, there's more. Much more. You want the answers? Come and get them. Oh, I will. Can you handle the answers? I bet you can't. Oh, I can handle them. I've looked up so many things on the internet for answers, you wouldn't even want to know. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The grand finale with Snivy, our most used partner ever. You just can't go wrong with Snivy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get to this corner. There we go. And maybe I should be closing in for ye ol' dash combo. It might be more effective than Leaf Storm. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, do something that's long distance. Thank you. I'll just wait here. Yeah, sorry, evil voice guy. Get your moves are far too easy at this point after the battle tournament. <laughs> You'd hold no more power against me. The battle tournament was all I needed to train myself to the max. I could probably rip that door off its hinges if I had to now. <laughs> I could... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Woo! Oh. I'll give you the answers. You win. Alright, evil voice guy. Time for those answers you promised. Why did you put me through all this? Well, uh, you see... I uh, needed help with Poke Park too. What? Yeah, I I really needed a walkthrough for it, and no one else seemed to have a 100% one, so I thought I would trap someone in their room until they make a walkthrough on it. Seriously? You put me through all of that just because you couldn't 100% the game? Yep. There's gotta be more to it than that. Well... Okay, there's a little more. I was pretty lonely, and I was kind of too shy to say it. That's why I had to say it sort of in a way by having you play the game and having Darkrai, the game character, say it for me. <sighs> well, you could have kind of clarified it at that point, but you weren't finished with the game. Uh, I suppose not, but even so, you shouldn't trap someone, you know, just to beat a game 100%. That's ridiculous. Well, I was desperate. Plus, as I said, very lonely. It's not, that, that's not really a, a way to make friends, you know, trapping somebody. If anything, that'll drive people away. Sorry. Oh, I, I guess I have some other stuff to explain, too. You know those unknown in your basement? Yeah. Well... You see, I, I sort of trapped them in here, too, when I uh, brought Wish Park to your house. Or at least a little bit of Wish Park to your house, like, four or five years ago. What?! You mean the Pokemon issues that I've been having in the house were due to you? Yup. <sighs> well, could you please... Please... Do something about this, just make things... Normal again? Well, okay. Uh, except when I, uh, you know, need to make some funny videos. Would, would you mind uh, helping me out with that? 
Well, okay, that sounds like a mutual thing. Indeed it is. So you should have just talked things out with me before forcing me into this. You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Yeah, but, uh, there's just one thing left to do. Open the door! Ha, 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 ha.